Between 1966 and 2012, the countries with the highest number of mass shootings were Russia, the Philippines, and the United States. That's 15 mass shootings in Russia, 18 in the Philippines, and 90 in the United States. American exceptionalism isn't always a good thing. Some, the National Rifle Association included, say no amount of legislation is going to stop a madman from killing. No amount of legislation is going to stop a madman from killing. Then how have all these other countries made it work? One of the best and most commonly used examples of gun control gone right is Australia. After a massacre in 1996, the Australian government didn't mess around. Under the new laws, the government launched a national buyback program, confiscating more than 600,000 banned guns. Australia has had zero mass shootings since. Japan has one of the lowest homicide rates in the world, partly thanks to its ultra-strict gun laws. Civilians have to go through an arduous application process that includes attending a class, taking a written test, passing a background check, and taking both drug and mental health tests. This is a tool that can end someone's life. There should be a strict screening process. You even need a license to own a sword. Every single sword in Japan is registered with the government. In Germany, anyone under the age of 25 has to pass a psychiatric evaluation to get a gun. In Brazil, most people under the age of 25 can't own a gun. Meanwhile, in the United States, the gun homicide rate is 25 times higher than other high-income countries. And anyone over the age of 18 can buy a shotgun without even giving a reason. So why can other countries enforce these laws while the U.S. continues to average one mass shooting a day? The Second Amendment. For the Second Amendment. By protecting their Second Amendment rights. The Second Amendment. The United States is one of only three countries to have the right to bear arms written into its constitution. For other countries, owning a gun doesn't even register as a civil right. The greatest civil right you have is to stay alive. Staying alive and being free from random attack is a far more precious civil right than owning a gun. Other liberties guaranteed in the Bill of Rights are subject to practical limitations. You have free speech, but you can't yell fire in a theater. You're protected from unreasonable search unless an officer feels immediately endangered. The idea that the Second Amendment is immune to restrictions is so weird that conservative former Supreme Court Chief Justice Warren Burger called it one of the greatest pieces of fraud, I repeat the word fraud, on the American public. So if other developed nations have practical restrictions on gun ownership and no other developed nation has anywhere near the same amount of gun violence, what are we doing? This is your mic check.